Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today, we are going to take a closer look at eco-labeling. Let's go! It's a voluntary method of environmental performance certification and labeling that identifies products or services proven to be environmentally preferable. So, what is the purpose of eco-labeling? The purpose of eco-labeling is first, to protect the environment. Second, to encourage the environmental friendly innovation and last to build the consumer awareness next is brief history it start with 40s 70s 1977 80s and also eco 92 in the early 40s label are created to warn about the effect of the product and most of them are applied to pesticide in 70s Label are applied in all toxic products. The volunteer label stated by the own producer or, or by the eco NGO. In 1977, Blau Angel is the first eco labeling program that introduced by the Germany. In late 1980, the UN conference focused on environmental and development. It is to satisfy the demands of customer in the purchase of green product. 23rd February 1992 in Brazil released a set of principle guide to government implement eco policy. There are five sources of eco labeling: awareness, willingness, stimulation, eco in disguise, and standardization. ISO. 14001 is environmental management. It maps out a framework that a company or organization can follow to set up an effective environmental management system. There are three types of eco label. Type 1 is known as eco labeling sim. Type 2 is self declared environmental claim. And type 3 is defined as environmental declaration. Examples of eco label available on product in Malaysia are consists of dolphin safe label, cruelty free, and also recycle label. Other eco label are safe water label, no CFCS label, and also natural origin label. Additionally, the FSC label, reef safe, and also biodegradable label. Next is serum eco labeling. Serum Eco Labeling Scheme is a product that is manufactured, undergo quality process, and tested according to certain environmentally friendly criteria. Serum certification is important to promote a sustainable marketplace to ensure the products comply with environmentally friendly criteria and give the product a competitive advantage over other similar products. And these are seven steps that need to be done in order to obtain a serum certification. The advantages of eco-labeling include increase product marketability, encourage the practice of sustainable business and innovation, reduce environmental impacts and increase consumer's awareness. The disadvantages of eco-labeling are complicated process, time-consuming and expensive, consumers are not aware of the labels, misleading claims by manufacturers and it may lead to greenwashing. Next is greenwashing. It's a marketing strategy used by company to appear as environmentally friendly, but it is not. So, how to spot greenwashing? It's easy. First, it contains misleading terms, image and labels. Next, it exaggerates positive contributions. And finally, it contains irrelevant claims. We can see greenwashing eco-labels in a clothing collection that claim to be 100% made from organic cotton, which suggests as environmentally preferable. However, it requires 20,000 litres of water to produce it. Therefore, it is just a marketing strategy rather than a green initiative. Another greenwashing eco-label is on a cleaning agent product, claiming that the bottle is made from the ocean plastic, which is an aspect of weakness because the plastic are obtained from a plastic bank in Philippines which collected plastic from land, not the ocean. 
it cannot be recycled as the exposure to sun and salt had damaged the plastic component. A class action suit was filed as the cleaning agent product contained ingredients that are harmful to people, animals and the environment. And last but not least, eco labeling are important in promoting sustainability. However, it may also lead to greenwashing. So next time, be more aware when you're shopping. <laughs>